What is going on my friends? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Jared and today we're going to be going over all of the balance patch notes that have recently been released for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now, before we get started, I want to give a huge special thanks to Vamplosion here on the subreddit. Like, seriously, this guy took a lot of time out of his day to translate the majority of these 131 skills. <laughs> I mean, holy crap. That's a lot of a lot to do within a, a couple of hours and I believe this guy was working on it for maybe like three four or five hours and so I just want to give this guy a huge round of applause because you know he really put in a lot of work and um, uh, I, I honestly think it's amazing and very impressive so he has gone over pretty much everything he's translated almost everything for these patch notes uh, for DLC pack 7 so when pack 7 comes out that means that we're gonna basically see like a lot a lot of changes to a lot of the attacks in the game so I just kind of wanted to make this video to let you guys know about you know these these updated moves and everything that are um, being updated for the game so again special thanks to Vamplosion everybody just want to give him a round of applause <laughs> thanks man um, so basically let's go ahead and start with the the first one um kamehameha is basically getting an increased speed of key blast so basically the key blast is going to be is going to make the enemy easier to hit after the attack connects so a lot of these attacks are basically going to be updated so they connect with the opponent and the enemy. Number two, bending Kamehameha is going to increase the damage um, and the tracking after the beam bends. Number three, the spirit bomb increase the tracking of the returning key blast, increase the, the time under the returning key blast disappears. Number four, Kaioken Kamehameha increases the speed of the key blast, makes the enemy easier to hit after the attack connects. Riot Javelin increases the speed of the key blast, increase, increasing the damage of the blast when near death. So that's getting a huge boost. Let's go ahead and check out number seven. Number seven isn't updated. So up here, he basically talks about um, how he'll be updating it, how some of the kanji is a little bit complicated, so he's going to skip it. So we'll probably make a part two to this video. Uh, let's and, and I'll probably make more videos as soon as DLC Pack 7 rolls out. But right here, we've got number eight which is um, the times 10 Kamehameha, it's going to have increased speed of the beam, so it's going to fire a lot faster at the enemy. So let's go ahead and turn off number one and bring up number two. So right here, um, paper rock, rock, paper, scissors, increased damage for rock, increased reach for rock, um, which is adjusted connectivity of rock from paper. Number 10, Consecutive Energy Blast, Increased Damage, Increased Tracking. 11, Kamehameha, Increased Speed of Beam, Made Enemy Easier to Hit After Connect. Number 12, Menacing Beam, Increased Damage, Increased Tracking. For Kick, Increased Range on Kick. Number 13, 15, and 16 were skipped. Justice Pose, Increased Time Active. Number 17, Sonic Kick. Increase tracking, increase range, increase the ability to connect after successful hit. Um, Destructo disc, increased the time until disc appears or disappears. Number 19 skip, number 22 skip, number 20. Mega Destructo disc, increase the speed of attack. Jumping energy wave for number 21, increase the connectivity of attack after successful hit. Number 23. Kikoho made it unlockable if charged made it so there's no pause between the start of attack and charging. Number 24, 
Dark Psy Beam increases damage. Namek Finger increased tracking speed of collision detection. Number 26, Gorgeous Shot made it easier to hit. Number 27, Dodoria Headbutt increased tracking made it so you can stamina break a downed enemy. Now, Dodoria Headbutt was really hard attack to land in the past. So I'm really surprised to see that they have like uh, updated it and made it easier uh, to basically connect with your opponent. So um, a lot of these, like I said, basically are about like connecting with the, uh, the enemy opponent and being able to actually like hit and balance the amount of damage. That way there aren't really so many overpowered attacks as um, there were in the past so everything's just going to be balanced and equally overpowered so um i'm going to kind of skim through these because there's 131 and i literally have to get up for college in like a couple of hours like four hours so i'm going to try my best to skim through this it's probably going to be like a 20 minute video so i'm going to probably sound a little bit monotone for a second i mean it's 2 a.m right now um and i i just want to go to bed so I'm gonna I'm gonna push this video out and um, stop procrastinating and basically just go over everything as quickly as I possibly can. So number 28, Dodoria Beam increased the range, made it easier to connect a hit after connect made it, so there's no pause between start of attack and input. Number 29, Critical Upper made it, so tracking is better after a hit. Number 30, skip. Number 32, Aura Slide decreased damage of each hit. 33, Gallic Cannon made. E enemy easier to hit after connect 34 time skip um, increased damage 35 divine um, ju uh, judgment I think this is divine purification possibly uh, changed so even after firing a blast you can stop the move with an added input um, from what the translator believes 36 skip 37 petrifying spit increase the time petrified after hit so that means enemies are going to be able to you're going to be able to use petrified spit and they're going to be like stone figures like for a while um 38 able beam increase the damage 39 gallic gun increase speed of beam made enemy easier to connect with hit after connect 40 finish breaker increased damage 41 atomic blast increased the damage if fired from the ground increased ease of firing for max damage 42 earth shattering gallic gun increases speed of beam increased hit connectivity of opponent after blast connects increased damage um 43 time control made the time the enemy is stunned longer after a hit 44 maha punch made it easier to connect an ultimate attack after connect 46 raccoon laser cannon sped up speed of blast 47 crusher ball increased damage increased tracking saucer blade increased area of attack so that was number three now let's go on to number four there's a total of eight or nine of these images um so again special thanks to vamplosion he he did a lot of great work here so really round of applause to him thank you so much for translating everything um number 49 ginyu for special combo made left input have priority increased to the reach before next input and made it so it's easier to combo into a dash number 50 holstein shock changed amount of damage you do to yourself it doesn't um let's see number 51 emperor sign made it so there are no pauses when using wow 52 death psycho bomb increased the damage 53 death crusher increased the range 54 death slicer improved tracking increase increase time until beam disappears number 55 death psycho combo increased damage change camera angle on close range hit number 57 burning slash Oh wait, I skipped 56. 56, Crazy Finger Shot, increased damage, make your opponent stagger after a hit. 57, Burning Slash, increased damage. 58, Drain Field, made it so you, it can absorb ultimate attacks. Oh wow. 59, Endless Shot, made it easier to connect each hit. 60, Deadly Dance, made it easier to combo after hits. Innocence Cannon, improved tracking, made it easier to combo into moves after hit. Angry Hit, improved speed of hit connection made it easier to combo after being knocked away 63 a boo boo punch made it so there is no pause until the move hits made the time frozen or shorter um could be shorter or longer 64 
that weird pink gum move. Um, damn, what's the name of that 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 move? Um, it's one of Boo's moves. Anyway, increased speed of weird pink gum made the time your enemy can move longer made it so you can't damage your opponent when they are trapped. I think this is the one where you can basically turn somebody into a piece of candy. Um, number 65, uh, Bomber increased damage and made it so it cancels guards, adding it as has prior it has priority for movement of use till it disappears, made time you stop shorter. So moving on from number four to number five, uh, Majin Kamehameha increased speed of beam, made it so it's easier to combo your opponent after the hit connects. 67 vanishing ball. Um, why isn't this okay quick sleep made idle time shorter 69 consecutive super donuts um additional input while make the beam travel slower you know 67 vanishing ball improved tracking that's going to be really good it's going to make it overpowered again so oh my god i can't wait to make an overpowered video okay 70 burst attack increased damage improved tracking 71 burst reflection made it so there is no pause when your shield is up uh 73 big bang kamehameha decreased decreased the necessary amount of time needed to charge before the beam can be fired increased the maximum amount of time the beam can be charged 75 dynamic kick Decreased charging time, changed camera angle. 76, present for you. Increased damage, increased health regeneration. 77, meteor rush. Made it so the move sends your opponent flying. 78, gallic death beam. Increased speed of beam. Made it so it's easier to combo into an after opponent flung away. 79, super god's flash beam. Increased damage. Made it so it's easier to follow up after hit. 80 burst kamehameha increased speed of beam made it easier to follow up on opponent knocked away 81 focus slash if you activate during burst dash makes it so you move forward before you attack 82 tail slicer increases damage now um so it has more damage 83 emperor blast increases damage um made it so there is no pause after you fire the attack 84 friend clash made hit connect faster made it easier to follow up with other attacks so moving on from number five we've got number six destructive beam increased time until beam disappears made it easier to follow up attack after hit 86 sonic rush increased damage made it so you cannot be vanished uh cannot be vanished out of changed camera angle 87 destructive demon wave improved distance of backflip made it so you can before you fire the beam 88 kill driver improved tracking 89 sudden storm increased damage 90 dragon fist made it so you cannot banish counter out of the move 92 scatter kamehameha increased damage made it so the key blasts are easier to hit with 93 darkness rush made it so the enemy can't counter out of the move which is a close attack 94 darkness rush which is a range attack made it so the enemy cannot counter out of the move 95 super spirit bomb taking damage during the charge up you take health damage not key drain oh wow 96 to door hit launcher made the tracking better for the scattered beams 97 time skip basically increased damage 98 big bang kamehameha um made it so you cannot escape from the move part way i think this is for both big bang oh no big black kamehameha and super black kamehameha sorry guys i read that wrong oh it's really late 99 impulse rush made it easier to hit with made it so you cannot z vanish out of the move number 100 god of destructions um one of his melee moves uh, damages increased made it easier to for consecutive hits 101 super rose kamehameha more damage um made ningens filthier <laughs> 100 i love that addition made ningens filthier i actually really love super rose kamehameha 102 brave sword attack damage is increased easier to hit so we got two more left number seven and number eight so let's go ahead and put this one on Okay, number seven. 
Oh man, 103 break cannon, increased damage, 104 final explosion increased damage made it easier to hit with decreased key consumption when holding the input, 105 final shine attack which is going to have increased damage, 106 blue hurricane increased range of attack made it easier to hit multiple times, 107 crusher volcano made tracking better, more um... Number 108, Double Death Slicer, increased damage, um, increased time until blast disappears. 109, Last Emperor, basically increased damage. 110, Heat Dome Attack, made easier to hit, um, made each hit easier to land. Okay, number 111, Dead End Bullet, made it easier to hit, no pause during the attack. 112, Electric Hellbell. Ball, increased damage, sped up time for hit confirm, 113, dual destructo disc, improved tracking, 114, dead end rain made it easier to hit, 115, innocence press, changed numbers of hits, increased time move cannot be countered, oh wow, 116, super banishing ball, increased tracking, 117, instant transmission, um, vanishing ball made each part easier to hit with 118 spirit sword made the first part unblockable made it impossible to counter out of made uh, and made every hit easier to connect 119 sphere of destruction increased speed and tracking oh thank god because that attack was terrible 120 ice cannon made easier to hit with 121 maiden burst Made it easier, made it so you can't Z vanish out of. 122 minus energy power ball, increased damage, made easier to hit with. Jeez Louise, a lot of these attacks are going to be overpowered. I'm kind of scared to go online, man. Like, even though they're fixing the net code and everything, just, just seems like everything's just going to be overpowered, dude. Like, oh my god, this is just, this is just kind of terrifying. Okay. <laughs> Number uh, 123, Symphony of Destruction, made uncounterable time longer. 124, Super Gallic Cannon, increased speed to hit, confirm, decreased time needed to charge. 125, Emperor's Death Beam, increased damage if you hit your opponent will be sent flying. 126, Hell Flash, increased damage made easier to hit with. 127, one armed Kamehameha Mark II. Additional input consumes less key. 128 Dimension Ray sped up. Oh boy. Sped up. Hit. Confirm. No pause during charge. Made easier to combo into moves after hit. 129 Power Pull Master. Decreased idle time between steps. Increased the damage needed to break you out of the move. 130 turn big. Is this the Nam um, This is, I think, the Namekian transformation. Uh, decrease the amount of key that is drained after transforming. Improved tracking on Demon Mouth Flat. Dude, Namekians are about to be overpowered. Purification, no key decrease after transformation. Wow. Decreased amount of key used by dash. Attack key drains when you block. No key decrease after transformation. That means you could be in your purification form longer and you could be in your giant form longer as a... Oh my god. Dude, this is going to be sick. This is going to be crazy. These patch notes are insane. Alright guys, let me know down below in the comment section if you agree with me and you think all of these patch notes are insane. I mean, I think this is nuts. Wow. Wow. Wow, dude. Those last three, Earthling Race, Namekian Race, and Boo Race are about to all be like fixed and just like overpowered because their transformations aren't going to be as nullified um, and less effective. You're actually going to be able to do more with them now, which is going to be awesome. Um, 
So I'm definitely interested in testing those out as well as the other skills and everything. Uh, wow. Wow. I'm actually going to be starting a new series soon about skills. So um, that's going to be really interesting to see. It's different from like anybody else's series. Um, so whew, this is crazy. All right, guys, smash that thumbs up button if you think these are all crazy um, and you're excited for the whole balance with the patch notes with all that being said guys thank you so much for watching if you watch till the end of the video comment down below so i know who you are and you get a special um a special heart uh plus the, that one that i just did there thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to bed i got school in the morning uh, i'll catch you guys next time don't forget to please keep living life to the fullest every single day live positive and enjoy life my name is Jared. Hope you guys enjoyed. You just watched Cogging, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. DLC Pack 7 coming soon, baby.